And welcome, ladies and gentlemen, out to Itawamba Community College as we get set for today's matches between the ICC Lady Indians and Meridian Lady Eagles today. And joining us in the ICC Foundation broadcast booth, a young man that goes by the name of Robbie Donahoe. Robbie. I'm glad I'm still young, by the yes, way. Yes, you Thank are. You. I appreciate that. Robbie Donahoe of uh, WCBI Sports coming out today to help with uh, soccer. And uh, Robbie, uh, great day for soccer. We're afraid it's going to be a little too hot, but the breeze blowing and we got a little shade going. This is a perfect day for some soccer. Pitch is in great condition. We're all set. We're ready to go. We have our formations and our starters in. We're set. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at our Coca-Cola starting, li starting lineup brought to you by the Northeast Mississippi Coca-Cola Bottlers. Robbie, take them away. Let's start off with Meridian. They're going to be going with a, your typical 4-4-2 formation. You're going to see Skylar Guthrie. Got some names I'm still trying to figure out here. Karen Hill, Heather Harwell, and Reagan Dupree will be your back four. Ashley Watts, Summer Stockstill, Katie Nelson, and Hannah Bird will be in your midfield. And then Danielle Shows and Kayla Phillips are your two strikers up front. Shows and Phillips have combined for 13 goals through their first eight matches this year. So it'll be a tough task for the back four of ICC to deal with them. And speaking of the back four from ICC, they are also going with a 4-4-2 formation. Emily Munn, your starting goalkeeper. They have Macy Acock, Carly Grisham, Haley Merrill, and Keely Mitchell as your back four. Annalie Jaggers, Miranda Chapman, Hannah Miller, and Reagan Hearn are in the midfield. And... Your starting strikers, Hannah Anderson and Alyssa Kelly, they have combined for five goals through the first eight matches this year. And that is your Coca-Cola starting lineups brought to you by the Northeast Mississippi Coca-Cola Bottlers, Buddy Long and company, always doing a great job helping support ICC athletics here. Uh, Robbie, we're in our Davis Ford pregame show, Keys to Victory, brought to you by the Bank of Oklahoma. Robbie, you're a big soccer guy. I am. Yes, what I a, am. Uh, ICC uh, finally breaking, I believe, a seven-match seven match losing streak last week Correct. with a win over Colleen. Uh, what are going to be some of the keys to victory today for the Lady Indians? Getting shots on target. Uh, just testing the goalkeeper. The only way to score is to put shots on target, and that's the way ICC has to play today. And if they can do that, they can take, take advantage of a goalkeeper that's possibly led in a couple easy ones this year. She only has a 2.2 goal against average. So if ICC gets shots on target, works the goalkeeper, I'd say they got a great chance to win. Absolutely. As those are your keys to victory brought to you by the Bank of Oklahoma as we're just moments away from your first American National Bank. Will we call it opening kickoff? Um, <laughs> it's not football. I know it's not football. Off. Um, I, I don't know actually like just the start of the game. Okay, I so I, yeah, I, I don't know exactly the proper term to start the game for soccer, but the opening tap, the opening kick, so opening we'll, kick. How we'll call that? it opening kick. Don't so put the first, kick off. yeah, first American National Bank opening kick set to go here. ICC will be in the white, trimmed in red with blue numerals. Meridian will be in the Kelly green. Trimmed in, I believe that's black with white. I've numerals. always been partial to the green, like the yes. lime green that just pops. Well, I mean, it's I've always been a, a uniform enthusiast, yes. so when I see it out there, it's. Well, I'll tell you what, let's take a look at the ICC Dining Service uniform report then, if you will, Robbie. <laughs> <laughs> Your thoughts well, today? Well, my thoughts, I, I like the consistency of the ICC uniform. I like the way it stands out. The red shorts are a good complement to the white, but I'm, like I said before, I'm in favor of the all green. It's a very sharp top-notch look uh, so if I had to favor if I had to favor one uniform I'd probably pick Meridian but if I was an American which I am I would go for the red white and blue of ICC absolutely we're going to step away for a moment as you hear the national anthem playing here for the pitch in Fulton And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, as we're getting set for the first of a doubleheader today between ICC and Meridian. As we talked about, the Lady Indians will be wearing their home white 
and Meridian, as Robbie so eloquently put it a while ago in his <laughs> ICC Dining Services. Is that uniform. actually a sponsor? It, ICC Dining Services does the coin toss for football. Oh, does the coin toss. But okay, now we'll do the funny. uniform report. Yeah, the okay. uniform report. I'm really looking forward to the, the men's uniforms. Yes, so we'll see what they go in, and we'll get your input on that one as well. Well, Robbie, the last time these two teams met, it was kind of a heartbreaking loss for the Lady Indians. They were hampered by tons of uh, injuries at that point. I believe a one to nothing loss that was an own goal. And from what we've been told, Meridian parked the bus. Pretty much just put, you know, nine or ten at the back, put them all behind the ball, try not to let any, any goals scored on them, and, you know, all you need in, one, in soccer is one goal to win, and sometimes that's the way you have to play the game, and it worked last time for the Eagles. Absolutely. So we're just moments away from that first American National Bank opening kick is what we determined to call it. Opening kick, yes. The opening kick. Good, opening I'm glad kick. we've determined yes. that. Yes, and Robbie, a beautiful day here in Fulton. You Gorgeous. see the baseball team. Uh, they're getting some uh, warm-up in. They'll be hosting Southwest Tennessee tomorrow in a very unique situation, a 21-inning scrimmage. It sounds like one of the the, t like the 24 hours of Le Mans, like yes. that big race over in Europe that they do with Formula One. That's sort of what it reminds me of, 21 innings. So that's what the Indians hours. will be doing tomorrow. So if you're around uh, the Fulton area, come on by. That starts at 3, 3.30 here at Roy Crescent Field, and that's what's uh, what's coming up at ICC, brought to you by Ron Wheeler Dentistry here in Fulton. Well, Robbie, we're going to sit back and hopefully uh, be able to see an ICC win as the officials put the ball in play. Early stages of a match, Robbie. What's your mindset as a former player and a soccer enthusiast? Establish possession, and that's what I, I. It's good to see ICC do that thus far. Although they give away possession off a cheap turnover right there, but you want to establish possession. You want to sort of get yourself into the game. You don't want to uh, try to go for the the home run ball early. You want to try to establish possession early, and if ICC can do that, and thus far it, it looks like they have, you know, g they're going up the pitch. They're they're moving. Moving well, good passing thus far. I do like that. So so far, I've I've been impressed. This is a good little attack they have going right now. Now they do go on the attack here. They push it forward, but it's knocked away nicely that time by Meridian. As we talked about, the last time these two teams met, it was a one to nothing final in favor of Meridian. The Lady Indians snapped a seven match losing skid last week with a five to nothing win over Colin. So hopefully, Lady Indians can get something going here this afternoon in Fulton. That time put a foot into it. Nice charge at it, but just a little wide left and an easy shot for the keeper to come away with. Yeah, Macy Aycock had to come all the way up from her fullback position there. Usually you want your midfield to sort of be waiting on a on a headed ball out of the box and try to strike from outside the 18. That time it did not happen, so formation's got to be a little better there. That time they booted it back into play, and it was lost out of bounds. It's going to go back to the Lady Indians on that one. Nice job by Reagan Hearn stepping up and breaking that one up and having the mo or having the ball momentarily with the Lady Indians. Reagan, a sophomore. She's from my neck of the woods, Columbus. She played a New Hope, talented Lady Trojan soccer team that they have there. Second-generation Indian as well, her sister Sarah Hearn. Uh, they actually played together on the team last year. Oh, the, uh, did you know? Brought to you by Adam Gore and your ICC Community College. There you go. We, there don't, you we don't have a sponsor for that yet. We don't have to work on that. <laughs> So now Lady Indians with it. They move it forward. Meridian took it away momentarily, but ICC gets it right back. So you see right now, you talked about it, Robbie. That was the game plan for Meridian coming in today. It's kind of just... Get get numbers yeah. behind the ball, and that's what they've done so far. And it, this is sort of what they'll do. They'll look to counter once they get possession back, but uh, good defense there from ICC. So the Lady Indians take it back, and it looks like we have a player shaking up on the field. And that's been a big thing that sort of hurt the Lady Indians this season. Uh, at one point in the season, they only had one sub. Uh, to be able to come back and in. Uh, so you're looking at 90 minutes playing with one sub. That kind of makes things a little difficult. And I believe, was Emily Munn injured at, at one she point, was. the goalkeeper? So, yeah, it's you, you hate to see your goalkeeper go down with an injury because that's one of the most important uh, parts of your team. But, yeah, injuries, if they definitely pile up, can be a problem uh, for your team. Well, the ball put back in play, and the Lady Indians have it. We're scoreless here in the first half of play. 42 minutes to go in the, the match. Cross. Hearn. Fires it. Oh, oh nice great save. save. Chandler Pickering. Yes, absolutely. Good save that time. Actually, a good shot on goal, too. She did a good job of getting a little bit of space, able to put a pretty good charge into that one. But as you said, a nice play by the keeper to keep that one out of the back of the net. And tried to put it up on the top shelf where uh, Mom puts the cookies, but unfortunately, Chandler Pickering, a great play, able to parry it just above the crossbar, but a great strike there from Reagan Hurt. So I believe now we'll go have a corner kick here. Is this a corner kick brought to you by your North Mississippi Chevy dealer? No, it's oh, actually brought okay. to you by Paisons. <laughs> your Paisons corner kick coming up here. <laughs> oh, good, good opportunity here for a set piece for, for ICC. This is Annalie Jaggers taking the corner. 
So Jaggers is going to put this one into play. Fires it in. Didn't get a solid foot on that one, so it was broken up nicely by Meridia, but Jaggers gets it back on the side. Whenever you don't get any sort of play on a set piece, you want to try to refire with that same person who's kicked the corner, and ICC nearly able to do that there, but it didn't work. So the Lady Indians, they're wearing white. They recontrol the ball here, and then Meridian, as soon as I say that, takes it away. So that's the second time we talked about that. And Meridian, or ICC has either lost it out of bounds or Meridian's taken it away. So maybe we need to stop saying that. Yeah, uh, stop jinxing your team. <coughs> Please do. So the ball back in play here. You see ICC trying to put a little pressure on it. The keeper almost oh, swings dumped it. Is, dumps it. Now we got a chance for a goal here. Goes up high, but just outside. And a golden opportunity that time for the Lady Indians. Just couldn't come away with it. Anna Anderson just didn't get good contact on that shot. And the ball was spinning in a weird fashion there off the keeper's uh, foot, Chandler Pickering. So it was tough to get that down. But she, only, she just needed one more touch to compose herself and try to put that in the back of the net, but not able to. So you're scoreless still here in the first half of play, coming up on the 40-minute mark left until halftime. You're listening to Adam Gore, Robbie Donahoe at WCBI Sports, the sports director at WCBI, our special guest commentator today. And, Robbie, we do appreciate you. Uh, Emphasis on the special? Yes, yes. <laughs> we appreciate you coming in today. And, Robbie, let's give you an opportunity here in the early first half of the uh, of the match to talk about some of the things you've got going on at WCBI and uh, – where they can find you, watch you, and everything else. Well, you can find us pretty much anywhere now. It's the beauty of the interwebs, as you are watching us right now on, on letsgoicc.com as part of our Ustream. Uh, find us on our website. You can find us on Twitter. Just search WCBI. We're getting excited for Friday and Saturday at football. Uh, plenty of great football going on. I mean, from what you've heard, you've probably heard that there's some big games going on in the state of Mississippi this Saturday. But we got great high school football on Friday as well. But it's this is a good football to start things off on a Wednesday for you. Absolutely. And you uh, being a big-time soccer fan, so we appreciate you coming out and helping us out today. I'm missing the Champions League for this, by the way. I, I, I'm watching... Junior college soccer which over is, the Champions League. Which is much better. It's, it's much better. Yes. I get to be actually here. And I wish I was in Europe watching the Champions League, <laughs> but this is, this is as close as you can get. This is great. Well, we're still scoreless here in the first half. 39 minutes to play until halftime. Lady Indians now on the possession. Move it forward. Tried to move it ahead on the pass, but just couldn't quite find her feet in the right spot that time. So, once again, Lady Indians doing a nice job attacking. Uh, just haven't had anything break through yet. Two strikers need to pair up a little better there, Anderson and Kelly. Maybe a little 1-2 there because you have two strikers starting up as a 4-4-2 formation. When you put two strikers at the top of your formation, those two need to work well off each other. So we need to see more of that from ICC. So Lady Indians get the possession back. Once again, you talked about it. Meridian just kind of uh, parking the bus, I believe you said. <laughs> I call it parking the bus, putting numbers behind the ball and then turning it into a counter. You see it right here. So now Meridian with their first chance at a possible scoring pos uh, possession. but Poor touch there. You have to say no good touch on that one. Munn steps in front of that one and shuts down that threat. Still scoreless here in the first half of play. you got to win those 50-50 balls if you're ICC in the midfield. That's sort of what, I guess, shows us how, how much they're taking this game seriously, is those 50-50 balls, especially off the goal kicks and keepers taking it out. So Meridian will throw it in from the side near midfield. Now, Robbie, for some of those that are watching that may not keep up with soccer much, feel free to, uh, I guess you say, sort of explain how some things are working. As you I see a that. shot right. just high, but a nice touch. Wasn't a, nice a bad move. rip. Wasn't a bad rip there from Melissa Kelly. Would have been nice if she maybe crossed over to her teammate, Hannah Anderson, who was lurking in the box. But not a bad, good movement here. I, I really like the the, the the pace of play and how ICC sort of continue to uh, keep the formation spread. You want to stay spread out from your teammates, especially in a 4-4-2 formation where you have many different players in their specific spots. So that's been impressive thus far from what I've seen. So the ball is now being chased around. Meridian controls at midfield. Or mid-pitch? Midfield. Midfield, Midfield, okay. yeah. At that point, you can say field. Yes. But now ICC recontrols it, moves it ahead. It's going to be a foot race to the corner. Now ICC has it. They're going to try to play it back. There's a shot, but it's going to be just wide. Once again, Robbie, they're staying aggressive. Mm -hmm. They've taken some shots that have been pretty far out, but you got to like the aggressiveness out of the Lady Indians. Yeah, I'd like to see them get a little more inside the 18, but that was a good idea there from Emily Jaggers to try to cross that one. I would have liked to see uh, Hannah Anderson try to get a little bit closer to the box there near the goalkeeper, but a good cross, good idea there. The attacking options have been great thus far from ICC. Just what we said earlier, get shots on target, make the goalie work. If they can do that, then uh, they'll get some goals in here. I think one or two are definitely within reach in this first half, the way they're playing. The Lady Indians have easily controlled the possession today. As you see, now they're moving the ball through traffic. Nice touch that time as 
Well, then once you, you have eight, yeah, you I have eight saying. green jerseys behind the ball, just trying to get back possession and trying to counter. So ICC, don't it, keep possession here. And this is much better. Yeah, try to get it, keep it out wide, spray it wide, try to, I guess, increase the width of the defense from Meridian, especially when they have so many numbers behind the ball. That one that time just led Reagan Hearn just a little too far as it goes out of bounds. We're still scoreless here, 6, 36 minutes and 18 seconds to go here until halftime. Remind everyone, coming up next will be the men's action. The Indians. Well, who's our halftime report sponsored uh, by? Our halftime report is sponsored by McDonald's. McDonald's got the halftime report. Yes. Can't wait for that. Really excited. <laughs> so now ICC gets it back, fires it across the middle. Maybe just kind of just a little frustration shot that time by Hearn trying to get it away from the double defenders. And that one's going to go out of bounds, and it will go back to the Lady Indians. Thank you there for the, the official on the line there. Making sure that ball doesn't get away from them. So now you see the Lady Indians with it once again. Cross it to the middle. Good pass there from Reagan Hearn. Going to set it back up for Hearn. Hearn's going to fire into it. I'll tell you what. If they're playing basketball, they're taking it well beyond NBA range. As that's been about the third or fourth time, Robbie, that they've taken a long shot, not a high percentage shot that time for the Lady Indians. No, and it's and Meridian will will continue to absorb those kinds of shots. You need to get closer to the to the 18-yard box and, and try to fire in shots there. It wasn't a bad idea there from Reagan Hearn, but get a little closer. Try to try to be, get a little better build up towards a shot there. This time the 50-50 ball drifts back into the Meridian side of the field. Lady Indians get it, but they got some pressure from Meridian now. We have a stoppage, and it's going to be Meridian's ball. Good play there from Danielle Shows. That's their leading goal scorer. She has seven on the season, and you could you could sort of see it. She she holds possession well when she gets the ball, and uh, wasn't able to get it back there. Was Macy Acock. So now Meridian with it. We're scoreless. 34-36 to go here until halftime. The shot fired away and is put into the middle, knocked away nicely by the Lady Indians. Now got to clear it. As Hearn gets it. We call that into the mixer, Adam. Into the mixer. Into the mixer. I will learn a lot today. <laughs> you will. <laughs> and once again, we do thank Robbie Donahoe of WCBI for coming up today and helping us with the broadcast. Uh, always doing a great job uh, helping us uh, promote our student athletes here at ICC. And we appreciate Robbie and actually appreciate him coming today because uh, in Calhoun County, we don't have soccer. So I'm still learning this sport. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the beauty of the beautiful game, is, is you learn something new every day when you watch it. So now ICC gets it back. Oh, good play wide there from Chapman. Nice also be able to keep that one inbounds. Moves it up forward to Hearn now. Hearn's done a great job patrolling that left midfield spot. She's been great. A nice job breaking that up by Meridian. Lady Indians, though, get it back, but then it was knocked away. Loose ball is going to be controlled by the Lady Indians. You can see ICC trying to penetrate down the left and right flanks, and that's what you want to try to do against a defense that has so many behind the balls. You want to try to cross balls in, and it appears that's what Coach Sullivan wants to see his team do thus far. You're not going to be able to go smash and grab and just go root one football right down the middle of the field. You've got to be able to stay wide and, and try to get some balls into the box. Well, we'll take a look at uh, ICC Spotlight brought to you by your Tupelo State Farm agent, Rich Potter, as the league announced their conference players of the week. And this week, uh, once again, it was a sweep by ICC. Ben Schaefer, the sophomore keeper out of Tupelo, was named the keeper of the week. And Anthony Fernandez, wow, what can you say about he that guy? He is a stud. He was Pure named, stud. He was named Offensive Player of the Week this week, still awaiting to hear from the national Players of the Week out of the NJCAA, but a big honor for those two guys. Third time this season that Schaefer has won Keeper of the Week. Second time that Fernandez has been named Offensive Player of the Week. Fernandez is Sports Center famous. Yes. Thanks to our, thanks to my good friend right here getting him on the air there. But yeah, Fernandez has been brilliant this year. Can't wait to see him play this next game. Absolutely, he is in top five, actually top three in the nation in goals scored. Good interchange there from Meridian there between their two strikers, Shows and Phillips, and Phillips on the ball now. So now Meridian with a threat, one of the few threats they've had today. Nice defense by the Lady Indians. Well Good defended. job that time by number 17. That was Carly Grisham doing a nice job there. At that point, you know, just uh, putting it out of play, that's, that's a bigger win because you get more numbers behind the ball. You get more of your defense to be able to defend uh, what Meridian's bringing on the offensive attack. So now it will be 
if you hear some interference. I don't know where that's actually coming from, so we apologize for that. I think you, no, you had it there for a moment. I had it for a moment. Maybe I just need to hold it. That's possible. Like that. Either way, go. There's a battle at midfield. A scrum. Keep your hand there. Keep my hand there. Yeah. No. That's like a we will. Uh, we will. We will call the powers that be after this match to uh, see if we can't get some magic done on that one. But uh, ICC looking for some magic here. Nicely led that time, but broken up by Meridian. They send it out of bounds and allow the defense to reset here. By the way, we got a really good crowd today. We got some good numbers, good attendance. Good to see them come out and support an ICC soccer today. Absolutely, we've had really good crowds this season, uh, supporting both our squads. Most of them trying to stay in the shade, as you can see right there over the, from the big tree. Yep. And we are under the shade, thankfully, because yes. it's a it's a blistering 85 degrees today. Yeah. And oh, it's October. And it's October. What October is going on, first? Adam Gore? Yeah. Well, I mean, you, you, you're the one that works in the news station. you got the weather guys. They <laughs> control this stuff now. So uh, They do. So we need, we need you to uh, kind of get them to say, hey, look, guys, it's fall. We need to uh, we need some football, soccer weather to uh, be able to enjoy. Are, it's the weather writers of America. They, they want to keep it interesting. This is, <laughs> this is how they do it. So the Lady Indians trying to go on the attack here. Hearn moves it across to the midfield. Miller tried to go 1-2 there with with her partner Miranda Chapman in the midfield didn't work but keeping it wide that's what you gotta do now play the middle and punch it back out wide there you go didn't work there though so once again you see Meridian they're settling with a more of a defensive minded attack this afternoon good move and Hannah is gonna put it on the goal that time but it was blocked up nicely by Meridian and once again another long shot but a good shot on goal you gotta think eventually one of those are gonna break through. And much better shot there because at that point you have someone crowding the uh, crowding the goal that was Hannah Anderson that was trying to follow up there on the shot from Hannah Miller and that's what you have to do if you're gonna put shots on goal and work the keeper make sure you have strikers that are poaching and ready to pounce on a shot that maybe gets away from it. Meridian quickly back on the offensive attack here they're moving forwards got an opportunity but nicely broken up that time by the Lady Indians try to clear it out Hearn with it now on the sideline Good job of being patient that time by Reagan, not trying to force anything, mm -hmm. able to get the possession back for the Lady Indians. Yeah, but you can't give it away there. you, you got to hold possession at that point. I, I know she's tired and she's working hard on that left side, but make sure you keep possession. Don't give it away cheaply like that. Let's see, a trio of subs set to check in. Actually, now four subs will be coming in the next opportunity as they fire that one back, and it's going to be kicked out of bounds. Just a mental mistake that time by Emily Munn. Kind of stepped in that one a little bit more than she thought break in the action so we will have subs coming in. Reagan, Reagan does come out. She she looked pretty tired out there so I don't I don't blame her. That's uh, Rachel Stugenborg checking in. She played her uh, she, she played her soccer at Heritage Academy. She's originally from Aberdeen so she's from our neck of the woods. So once again out in your part of the world uh -huh. there so and she has played well. She's played a lot of minutes this season as a reserve. As you see she's wearing the knee brace. One of those that also have kind of been hampered by injury this season. So I believe we had a handball, handball. played, so that's going to lead to a, a free kick opportunity here for Meridian. About, I'd say, 24 yards, 20, 24, 25, maybe a little farther from goal. Oh, and we fixed the we fixed the static problem. I figured out what it was. That's I why finally, they pay you the big bucks. I finally recognized the noise and the pattern. <laughs> it was the uh, MiFi card. Uh -huh. The cell phone signal that was interfering with it. Uh -huh. So you see now they're going to go for the kick. ICC actually jumping, trying to make some distraction there. Kick is just wide. That was a good set piece, though. And that was it, it appeared zonal marking there from ICC. you got to make sure you man up when you're on set pieces that are that close to the goal. The 50-50 ball this time is going to be controlled by the Lady Indians. And then, once again, we're jinxing them. Every time we talk about Stop that, saying that. <laughs> Meridian takes it away. A opportunity here for the Lady Eagles. Steps into it, blocked out nicely, but fired right back to her. So Meridian will keep the possession and still have a scoring opportunity here. Ball is sent towards the goal. It's wide right. They're going to try to say that it was out on ICC. We'll see what they say, and I believe that is what they're going to say. So remain Meridian ball. You've got 27-13 to go here. We're scoreless in the first half of play. So this is going to be, I believe, a corner coming up. Mm-hmm. It appears so. I didn't see the deflection off that shot, though. I didn't either. Maybe I thought it was just, uh, I thought her leg failed her on that one. Maybe we need to check our, our vision. Sponsored by? Vision do, we, do we have any vision sponsors? Yes, it'll wobble on. <laughs> go get a long right. and get your eyes checked. Tremendous. <laughs> 
as that corner kick sails behind the goal. You need more sponsors. Yes, we do. <laughs> so if you would like to sponsor ICC Athletics, oh give me a gosh, call at really? 862-8059. 862-8059. You can also find Ryan on... Ryan, I just called you Ryan. Oh. Her name's Adam. You can also yes. find Adam on eHarmony.com. <laughs> 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 kidding. <laughs> Completely kidding. I was going to say, did somebody set you up another account this time? No, no not yet. Okay. It, it's coming, though. We need to do that for Brayden. We should. Yeah, we really should. Brayden's <laughs> definitely not watching this, but no, he was. No. But uh, this is a good offensive build-up here from ICC. They're keeping possession well. Good one-two there. There you go. So now the Lady Indians on the march to fire it towards the goal. And once again, they're getting shots on goal, not attacking close. They did have someone on the backside to possibly pass it off to. But once again, you got to think eventually one of those will break through for the Lady Indians. Needed a little more power on that shot from Anna Lee Jaggers. But good one-two between her and Miranda Chapman. Much better possession and good passing from that last play. So Lady Indians will clear it towards midfield. Meridian steps in front of it. They had a player offside that time. Was able to get back on before moving the ball forward. This I, one. I don't know who that is, by the way. They just kicked it. Her name is not on the roster. So number seventeen there, is. There's who no. It is. There's no seventeen. Let's check the official scorebook. Oh, the official scorebook is up here with us today, and that's sponsored by. That is official scorebook sponsored, sponsored by, by Houston Banking Center. Houston Banking Center, Tr fantastic. More Tessa subs. Keith. Tessia. Tessia. That's East Central's roster. No, that's not That's not her. We will find out who this mystery person is. We'll find is. out who the mystery person is, sponsored by your local Mississippi Ford dealer, yes, Davis built Ford. for tough. Davis Ford, who is actually within a pitching wedge from here. <laughs> Robbie. Maybe, I'm terrible maybe, maybe, maybe an eight iron for you. Okay, yeah. Eh. Actually, I'd probably just throw the ball. <laughs> that guy probably still couldn't get it there. We're scoreless if you're just now joining us. We've got 24 minutes to go here until halftime. ICC and Meridian in a non-division duel here. Looking for a breakthrough. We've had a couple good chances for ICC. Shouldn't be able to pounce on it. Oh, so she doesn't exist, 17, but she plays on the field. Okay. So we will... Meridian, Meridian's pretty much cheating right now. Yeah, I'm saying Meridian. They are cheating. If anybody is watching for Meridian who knows who number 17 is, tweet us at Let's Go ICC. <laughs> we'll be glad to. Uh, I should, well, her name. she's on the ball right there, and she just gave it away. So now Meridian in all green, moving the ball. Best uniforms I've seen this year, by the way. Just like our all red. Continue to like point that out. Red. So now ICC trying to break this one up. Meridian with possibly one of their longest possessions of the day. Now ICC able to come away with it. By the way, we're going to have a Champions League update at halftime. Perfect. So just wanted to let you know for and all the soccer fans that are tuning in today. And when you do that, it's a Trustmark Bank scoreboard update. Trustmark Bank scoreboard update. I'm going to say that five times fast. Yes. Okay, got it. Done. So now ICC with it. They try to move it forward. And defense steps in front of that one that time for Meridian. And yeah, that was well cut out there from Katie Nelson. Ball is sent out of bounds, so it will remain with the Lady Indians. 23 minutes to play here in the first half. We're still scoreless. ICC with the ball. So this Jaggers are trying to get it out to. Pushing it up the side, and it's going to be kicked out of bounds. Let's see who the possession stays with. They're actually going to say it was last touch by ICC. My phone went off. I thought somebody from Meridian actually tweeted us the girls. Oh, name. I was excited for a moment there. I did too. I was like, hey. Are we getting a lot of good comments? We are. They're saying um, nothing. That color guy is really good. <laughs> he sounds so handsome. Kidding. If you are watching, you still got plenty of time to make it out to the ICC softball complex today. The men will start at 4 o'clock. Softball complex? Soccer, so excuse me. <laughs> exactly. Wow. Yes. Remember your sports there, Adam. <laughs> Lady Indians with it now. Going on the attack. Send it forward. Ooh, play in the box. Nicely put there. Just couldn't quite get to it in enough time. Nice play by the keeper. Yeah, and Lee Jaggers put the ball in the box as well. Stugenborg nearly able to poach on that one and, and tap it in, but good play there from the keeper. Chandler Pickering, who's had a nice match today. 
So Meridian with control. Scoreless contest. 21 minutes to go here until halftime. Robbie, like to mention a while ago, your halftime report brought to you by McDonald's. McDonald's halftime report. I'm loving it. Why don't you say the taglines with it? I will start doing that. You for should. You. I'm setting you Provides up. Provides a little it. more. I'm setting you up for okay, it. Okay, all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Robbie, you won't be on the air tonight. Tommy Lopez will be in studio, I assume. He will be. Yes, he will be. Uh, he'll be on the air for me this evening. And we do appreciate you coming out today once again. I know we talked. Am about I getting paid for this? You are. You are. Yes. We will. Uh, we will compensate compensate you with. Um, I, I don't. I don't know what yet. But we'll, we'll find you something. Okay. Maybe a meal or. Um, do I get to keep this? I'm wearing a visor, by the way. You can't see me on the on the on the telly. You're, you're that's what that's what they call it overseas. The telly. You're looking good in your Edawama visor, by the way. I tell you what, that. I will let you keep that. Okay, that, that's payments enough, right there. Okay. I good. was looking for a good visor to wear, just when I go out and yes. go about the town in Columbus. So now ICC with it, moving it ahead. This time they attack inside. Nearly. And that time the shot just high. And more substitutions set to check into the contest. That was Alyssa Kelly trying to curl that one into the, the far bar and nearly snuck it inside there. But I, I say it, ICC continued to have good opportunities. They just got to be able to bury one right now. Yeah, it's one of those where you just feel like eventually if you keep shooting, something keep shooting, good's going to happen. Will, good yeah. will happen. What did Dory say? Just keep swimming? Just keep yes. swimming? Just okay, keep just swimming. keep shooting. So just, just, just keep, keep shooting. shooting. We do welcome anyone watching on campus uh, to come on down. They have the concession stand open for the first time this season. Hey! A new addition to the ICC Soccer Complex. You, you need a, a sponsor for the Soccer Complex. We, uh, we'll call them the Parts and Parts Well Service ICC Soccer Complex. Okay. Parts and Parts Well Service in Houston, Mississippi. Katie Valentine was just very nearly offsides there. You see ICC playing a high line. Uh, which is very near uh, the midfield line, and that's what you want to do if you if you've got so many players behind the ball as as Meridian does, play a high line on the defense and take your chances and continue to put balls upfield. Meridian now with it, trying to go into the attack. We're scoreless so far here in the first half. Nicely well done defended. defensively, Carly Grisham. Put it back. There you go. I believe this is going to be Lexi Black with it. Moving it ahead, scrum for the ball, and we have a stoppage. And that's going to be on ICC, so Meridian will get it back. 18.45 and counting here, scoreless in the first half between ICC and Meridian. Let that time just... That was a foul? Yeah, so they let them just got their feet tangled up and... Good show of sportsmanship that time by ICC. Went to help the girl up from Meridian. She uh, just that that is your sportsmanship uh, play of the day presented by Parks Well Service Sack. Yes, Parks and Parks Well Service. Parks and Parks Well Service. Got it. They sponsor the sacks in football. <laughs> <laughs> but as you saw on that last one, though, good show of sportsmanship by ICC. Goes over Tremendous to help the girl show up. show of sportsmanship. But that's, the girl from Meridian kind of just jerked uh, off. Yeah, that was, she, that was, she wasn't very nice. Yeah. <laughs> what, are, what are sacks in football? Like the, the sacks that hold like the no you don't know what a sack is in football and you oh so, sorry I, I I'm thinking of food oh. I, I'm hungry so I'm thinking gotcha. like a, a sack of food yes no, yeah, we're like football sacks yeah okay, yes, I, okay I got it now there you go there you sorry, go I got so I got soccer on the brain so you're thinking soccer I'm thinking football not yeah, football, football not football yeah. well as expected a low scoring affair so far in this one we're scoreless coming up on the 17 minute mark left here in the first half of play. ICC sending this one forward. As Lady Indians keep it and lose it back to Meridian. Now Meridian's going to go on the attack, push it forward. Nicely defended that time by ICC as they get it back, and they're going to send it wide. That high line continuing to do a nice job at, at slowing down that Meridian talent striker Danielle shows. They've been doing a good job. So ICC being very patient here, trying to find something to open up. Ooh, nice idea. Just couldn't quite place the ball where they needed to. Is they had a player flashing across the backside. 
chance for a set piece here in a good in a dangerous position here. Meridian's coach didn't like the call. Had a few words for the official. The official just shook his head. Said, "Let's play." Up to Hearn. Hearn Ooh, just couldn't a get a foot on it. Good ball there from Haley Merrill. Put it towards the far bar, and Reagan Hearn just unable to control it and get it down. But that was a nice ball into the box. So now Meridian will put this one back in play. I don't know if you noticed this before, but when you just look off in the distance with all those trees, it sort of looks like we're in Florida. It I don't does. know why. It, it a has a feel of a, a Florida resort. I so like if, if you, if you want to come to ICC and, and have the feeling of a Florida resort, you should. Uh, Absolutely. It's, it's a free trip. Well, besides the gas that you yeah, have to pay to get here. Yeah, besides the gas to get here. But hey, where you are. It's, it's free to get in. There's, so no, there's, no, there's no, no admission admission. charge. It's tremendous. That's how much we love our fans here at ICC. Mm -hmm. We give them free admission to soccer softball. I got in free. You got in free. I got in free. Yes, you got in free. Surprisingly, they did not card me as I walked into the well, ICC soccer complex. We uh we tried, but um you, you you're just slippery. You're slippery. You got through the security. I'm a slippery person. <laughs> so this is going to be a corner coming up here for the Lady Indians. A good scoring opportunity here. 15 and a half to go in the first half. Put one in the mixer. Try to get on the end of one. Try to put one on net. May try to go short here. Nope. They send it in. Battle between Hearn with it. Now she gets it back. I'm going to send it right back out. There you go. That's what you got to do. Chance here puts it on goal, but directly to the keeper that time. Would have thought if it would have curled in, had a good chance to maybe get a header for the, for the goal. Yeah, they had three players going towards goal there. That has to be better service. And if it was, it looked like, yeah, it very well could have been a goal there. So now Meridian trying to go into the attack here. Pushes it forward. Dangerous situation, but now Emily Munn doing a good job of getting to the ball and scooping it up. Distant relative to Olivia, I believe. I believe so. But I'm not quite sure. We haven't confirmed that. We will look for you, you are the ICC yes. sports director, we sports will, information director. You should know that. We will we will look for confirmation and let you know okay. by the end of the week. It's our uh, it's our six degrees of separation presented by Ancestry.com that we will have <laughs> for you throughout the game here with ICC. And Meridian sends that one wide. It's going I'm going to continue up. to come up with, with yes. uh, just these crazy sponsors. I want to put the sponsor list right here yes, for you. Yes, please do. That way, in case you do come up with one that will fit one of those. We will give you a list of these sponsors throughout the contest today. We do thank you, the sponsors, for helping bring ICC Athletics your way, not only here on Let'sGoICC.com, but also on WAFM 95.7 out of Amory. Are they actually hearing this on the radio right now? Not right now. Oh, yeah, we, uh, that's a shame. It would be, it'd be difficult to do soccer on the radio. No, it's not. Well, it, well, it's, it's not hard. In this part of the world. It's called imagination. Yes. Break in the play. We will have a, some substitutions coming in here. Here comes your uh, ICC substitutions presented by Fulton Farm Bureau agent Joey Cox. How about this? Joey is a par proud member of the ICC Athletic Hall of Fame and a former NJC's, NJCAA All-American in football. What position did he play? He was a defensive lineman. Okay. So Very he's nice. giving back to ICC. Chance here. Good play. Once again, I believe that was Grisham on the play. She's yep. been solid defensively today for the Lady Indians. That back line has been really strong today. And there have been a couple times where Danielle Shows has gotten in behind. Kayla Phillips has had a couple opportunities. But uh, they've done a great job. Uh, that back four has been able to clear it and get numbers behind and reset and get that defense set to go for the next opportunity. So they've been great. So a throw-in opportunity coming here for Meridian. We're scoreless so far here in the first half. This one moving forward, cleared out by ICC Meridian with it now. Scrum for the ball. Is that right, scrum? Nah, that's a no, rugby right. term. Rugby term? Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to keep up. Scrum. Oh. It's okay, you're learning. I'm learning. Learning from uh, not quite the best, but yeah, Robbie Donovan. I'm up there. This ball is sent out of bounds. It'll be ICC's ball. 12 minutes ago here until halftime. Call it possession. Don't call possession. it ball. It's not, it's not football. This is soccer. Let's do a little soccer 101, if you will. 
brought to you by, by Ron Wheeler Dentistry. Ron Wheeler Dentistry. Robbie. Best dentist in the area. Explain through your eyes the game of soccer. Well, there's a lot of different aspects that I could go with that. So that's, that's a very broad question. Okay. Um, you have a, a, a certain let's, let's, area that you want to talk about? Let's just talk about what you were just talking about then. Instead of calling it ball, call Instead it Instead of calling it possession. Well, you know, soccer is a very complicated sport. Yes. It's, it, but it's very simple at the same time. So while you could just say, oh, ball... No, you want to keep it complicated yet simple. So possession is a, you know, it's it's a it's a broader term. Makes you sound a lot more intelligent when you say it. Okay, I need all of that help. I yes, can you get. do. Yes, you do. So. So possession. Possession. Meridian. ICC clearing it up front. Now going out wide. Now ICC trying to go into the attack here. Appears they've that Sullivan's chained up, changed up the formation, sort of more of a four-five-one, where they have one striker up top, sort of playing that number ten role. That's Alyssa Kelly, who's sort of playing that center forward role now. Coming up on the ten-minute mark, break, and we'll have some substitutions coming in here. A lot of subs. Four for Meridian. It's a hockey change. Line change. There you go. There you go. Two coming in for ICC. I just keep cheating. Like we have another person on the field from Meridian that is not, not on the on roster. List. So we don't know who it is. We may just give her a name. Sounds good. Okay. That is the... Uh, so number four is going to be... What, what do you want to call her? I don't know. Okay, let's call her Sally. She's okay. going to have a first name. It's like Cher. Cher. She'll just be Sally. We just had our first Cher reference probably in the history <laughs> of ICC <laughs> broadcast. <laughs> Maybe all broadcast. Ever. You're welcome. <laughs> As your first share reference presented by Fulton Farm Bureau agent Joey Cox. I'm just going to keep saying that because his name's on here a lot. Yes, it is. It in is. terms of sponsors. So Joey, I'm Joey saying steps it. up and helps us out a lot. Joey's there. great. Hearn with it. Tries to send it forward. It's going to go wide. So we possession back to Meridian. Nearly took that on the half volley there, did Reagan. It was a good opportunity and a good chance. Maybe another touch just to get a. Get that down and get yourself controlled a little better there, but good opportunity. Nine and a half to go until halftime. We'll have our McDonald's halftime report. Can't wait. Also have our first half analysis brought to you by Houston Banking Center. But be thinking about that, Robbie. I, I will. As this one is sent out of bounds, possession back to the Lady Indians. You like how I roll with possession now? Yeah, possession. I'm glad you're using that now. No longer ball, it's possession. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's well done. Scoreless here in the first half. Moving it ahead that time, just couldn't quite put it on the foot. Grisham. She's, she's been great on the back line. She's been tremendous. She's one of those players that rarely comes out of the game, too. So she has been a trooper this season for the Lady Indians, a freshman. She's from Pontotoc. Some people call that the land of Bishop. From what I've been told, but so uh, the only person that calls that it is it's, it's Braden. probably yes. Timothy Braden Bishop. Yes, he's the only person that actually calls that. So now Meridian with it, trying to push down the sideline, sends it up the pitch, controlled. Now they reset. It's got a scoring opportunity here on this side. Fires it wide, her leg fails her as it goes back and possession to the Lady Indians. I don't know why you're shooting that there. You need to take control, get a touch, try to get a better opportunity because your angle of trying to fit that one inside and try to score, that's very difficult. I don't know. I probably would have not taken that shot there. I think frustration maybe for both squads setting in. Possibly, yes. Nobody's been able to find the back of the net yet. This one. That's what we call the breakthrough. The first goal, the breakthrough. When it's just so difficult to get one in. It's opportunity here though for Meridian. Meridian with it, gets it past the defender. Nicely done that time, though, by number 22 for the Lady Indians. That's Macy Acock. Stepping up big, helping out Grisham that time. Yeah, between Ma Acock and Grisham have been enforcers on that back four. They've been great today. Where are the ball boys, Adam? They are in class today. Ah, uh, The ball boys from class, they are presented by... I don't know anymore. Uh... Houston Banking Houston Center. Houston Banking Center, okay. Are there, are there sponsors that we should be mentoring more, like Coca-Cola? 
Coca-Cola is one of them. First okay. American National Bank. Uh, Pizons Pizza. Pizons. I've never had Pizons Pizza. Really? No. It's we, amazing. We, Why have I not had it yet? Yeah. Well, we should go now. Okay. Okay. It's a good opportunity there, by the way, for Meridian. But it's Haley Merrill doing great work on the defense. Normally, you see her a little bit higher up the pitch in defense or in 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 attack, I should say. But did a good job in defense there and. Very close to a handball there, but she did a nice job at keeping the arms in, not playing in an awkward position. Well done. Remind everyone coming up uh, after this match will be the men's matchup between ICC and Meridian. Can't wait. Pumped to watch Fernandez. So now you see Meridian sends it forward. Munn steps out in front of it. She's had a relatively quiet first half, other than a couple times where she's had to control the ball. Sends that one a little deep. Meridian volleys back. It's like a little game of keep away right now. That's what they used to do to Adam on the playgrounds back in second grade. They did. I was only two foot tall and <laughs> very upset. <laughs> two foot tall. I think we got to talk about that. Huh? <laughs> I haven't grown much since. So now Meridian sends it forward. Going to be a foot race in Munn. Nicely done coming up quickly. That was a tasty that. That was a tasty pass there from that right flank. But good job there from Munn coming out of her, her goalie position to make the play there. Now you're starting to see both these teams kind of get a little winded here and forcing the issue. Yeah, they look a little, a little tired. Sloppy. Look yeah. a little tired. And it's also hot. Got the sun beating down on them. So that uh, takes a toll on fatigue. So you see a large umbrella across the way blocking some of the shade for some of the fans here. We're and blocking the view of some people, too. I mean, umbrellas yeah. getting away. Now ICC trying to go on the attack here. We're scoreless. Under five minutes to play here in the first half. Nice hustle, but the ball still goes out of bounds. Talk about coming up at halftime, our McDonald's halftime report. We have a first half scoring brought to you by Fulton Jar. Fulton Farm Bureau agent Joey Cox, but as of right now, unless this one can go in by Hearn, as the defender kind of fell asleep, now Hearn's going to fire. She oh, we got a handball. Down. That was close. That was close. I thought it was a handball. That was very close. I, I can see what what I can see the reasoning behind the official's call there, where the Arms were not in an awkward and unnatural position there, but at the same time, that's that's a 50-50 call there. I'd, I'd say about 50 out of every 100 reps would probably give that call, then the others don't, so it's yeah, so he was, that's tough. He was behind the play, so he didn't have the best angle at it, mm -hmm. if you will. So I'll, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt there. In the position that he was in, that was a tough call to make. It's I could see it called either way in that position. And plus, we're in Fulton, so it would be nice to kind of get a little home cooking. Yeah, come on. This time, they send it to the back side. Goal across the way and just wide. Best scoring opportunity of the day for the Lady Indians. Got to bury that if you're Alyssa Kelly. That was, a, that was a delicious ball into the box. You've got to finish that. So a tough break there for the Lady Indians, as that would have given them the one to nothing lead here in the final minutes of the first half. 3.15 and counting to go here until halftime. You're watching ICC and Meridian Soccer here on Let'sGoICC.com. I want to thank everyone for tuning in here. ICC has been a lot better today when they've had two strikers up front sort of paired up. I think they need to continue with that kind of a formation. That's uh, between Hannah Anderson and Alyssa Kelly. They need to keep that formation going. Now Meridian sends it forward. Grisham will step in front of it. We talked about Lady Indians have had a lot of shots on goal today. Just none that's really challenged the keeper except for one, and that one just a little a little wide. So now ICC getting a little bit more aggressive across the middle. Go back out to Hearn. Really good passing. Couldn't come up with the loose ball that time. Possession to Meridian, but good hustle by the Lady Indians. Meridian somehow is able to keep possession, sends it forward, and Munn will step out and call this one on her own. Under two to play. 
Two First minute, half? Yeah, two-minute warning. That doesn't exist in, in soccer? Oh. I, it's only in football. What about one minute? No. 60 seconds. <laughs> That's what one minute is. <laughs> I was hoping I'd catch you. No. That. Nicely cleared that time to allow the defense to reset here for the Lady Indians. A minute and a half to go. We're still scoreless here in the first half. ICC has definitely looked the better of the two sides, but as most of the time it goes with soccer, it's sometimes the better of the two sides does not always win. And thus far, ICC just needs to bury one. They need to put one in to get a little more confidence, a little bit more pep in their step. I like it. Well, Meridian, a lot of time going off the clock right now as they didn't necessarily get in a hurry to get this throw in. Possession cleared by the Indians' defense. So now Hearn comes up with a loose ball. Inside a minute to go. Got a lot of room down this left side. Here's an overlapping run. Nice overlapping run from Aycock. Let her just a bit too far, but it comes right back to her. Ready and going to clear. 35 seconds to play. That's probably going to wrap it up. Nobody's going to run up. Coach... Carson sends one in from the sideline. Excellent work, job, coach. Coach Carson. Good work, coach. Clear it wide to Hearn. Just send in the box at this point. Time winding down. See if you can get a deflection. There's an opportunity. Nice job trying just to find something towards the goal in the final seconds of the match here. And that's going to wrap up our first half of play. We're still scoreless. Here at the end of the first half as we move now into the McDonald's halftime report. McDonald's. I'm loving it. Absolutely. The one thing we're not loving right now is the fact that Lady Indians have missed some scoring opportunities as we're tied with Meridian here at the break. Yeah, just continue to get numbers forward for ICC. They're going to come through with a breakthrough here sometime because they they continuing to put a lot of effort. They have great possession, getting good opportunities. Shots just need to maybe get a little bit more power, maybe some better accuracy. Had a great chance earlier. I believe that was Alyssa Kelly who nearly got on the end of a goal uh, to start things off. But just continue to plug away, continue to fire off. Uh, something will come through for ICC uh, one way or another. And that's your first half analysis brought to you by the Houston Banking Center. And that was also the voice of Robbie Donahoe. Robbie, the sports director at WCBI Sports. Uh, Robbie, we do appreciate you coming in today to uh, do some play-by-play -play color with us and uh, something you've always wanted to do and glad to uh, give you this opportunity. Yes, this is, a, this is a dream of mine. You're letting me live out a dream right now. Awesome. Well, let's... Uh, let's I that would that say dream is presented by Fulton Farm Bureau agent Joey Cox. It is because he presents our first half scoring. Hey! And they're there right now no. we're scoreless. Oh, no. We just As you're allowing our, our papers to fly away, oh, no. Here in the ICC Foundation broadcast booth. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to step away for a moment. Catch Probably our breath. Probably a good idea because I need to go get papers. Grab, uh, say, grab our thoughts and we'll come back with the second half of action here from Fulton right after this.
And welcome back to action, ladies and gentlemen. We're just seconds away from starting the second half of action this second Are half. Are we getting our Champions League update? Yes, let's do a Trust yes. Bank scoreboard update. A Trust Bar Bank Championship League update. Champions League. Get Champions. it right, Adam. Champions League. Champions League updates. Bayer Leverkusen has a 2-0 lead over Benfica. Atletico Madrid Juventus currently playing to a 0-0 draw right now. Malaga over Olympiacos 1-0. Basel Liverpool. No score, surprising, uh, surprisingly. Arsenal has a 3-0 lead over Galatasaray. Borussia Dortmund defeating Anderlecht 1-0. Real Madrid, shockingly, is drawn. I don't even know who that is, but they're drawn right now. And Zenit St. Petersburg currently in a draw as well over Monaco. All of these games are in the 50th minute. That is your You're welcome. Trust Mart Bank Champions League <laughs> scoreboard update. The first ever. First ever. And that was Robbie Donahoe of WCBI. And, Robbie, once again, we do appreciate you uh, making the trip from Columbus to uh, come join us on today's broadcast. It's a long trip. And right before we get this one started, we uh, give you another chance to let everybody know where to tune in, where to follow, where to watch, and everything uh, at WCBI. Yes, you can find us on our website at WCBI.com. We, we do a great job promoting ICC sports. You indeed At least you I do. believe we do. You do. Uh, so you should watch us on our nightly newscasts, 5, 6, 9, and 10. We have four nightly newscasts, so you get all of your sports fix in. And I'm sure we'll talk ICC tonight. I yes. won't be there, but Tommy my partner Lopez. in crime, Tommy Lopez, will be delivering the goods. So be sure to check it out. And we'll be announcing our uh, WCBI Game of the Week for the end zone, by the way, coming up to 10. You can still vote on that it's by... a vicious uh, battle on our Instagram. There's it a is. fly in, <laughs> in the ICC Foundation broadcast. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yes, it's a vicious battle for your Game of the Week. Vicious! And it's kind of... It, you saw it spill over into the office as well. Uh, it got a little ugly in the office, you know, the two teams battling for oh, it yeah. right now. It was nasty. Is Itawamba and Amory, of course, my boss, Dr. Jan Reed Bunch, uh, coming through, and she's of course supporting of Itawamba, where that's her son plays, and of course me being a Calhoun guy. You're supporting the Schooner River rivalry. I am, I am. So I may be uh, coming to you here in a little bit, asking for a job in Columbus. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> but if you do have the opportunity, go to was it WCBI? It's our Instagram page at WCBI End Zone. It's all one word. You can so, vote on that. Up there. We got Cokes in the uh, ICC Foundation. What is it called again? Uh, ICC Foundation Broadcast booth. ICC Foundation Broadcast booth. We got Cokes, thanks to our good friend Lee Adams. But we... we oh, yeah, sure. Um, yeah. But there's our names aren't on them. It just says share a... Wait, you got a name on yours? I do. You're supposed to share a Coke with Travis. I'm just supposed to share a Coke. Well, I'll tell you, I'm a no tra one. Travis Tritt fan, so I will gladly share one with Ugh. you. Oh, thank you. Oh, come on, now. That was a shot on goal. That time taken away once again. And, Robbie, that's what we talked about, Lady Indians. Work the keeper. Getting, work the keeper. Getting plenty of shots today. One of them will eventually fall. Something's going to work. They continue to press hard enough. Something's going to work. And ICC continues to work hard. They're putting in a lot of efforts. They're going to get the breakthrough here soon enough. It's going to happen. We believe it's going to happen. And one thing that could help that happen is now that the sun is setting, they switch sides of the field. The keeper from Meridian will be looking back into the sun. A little bit of a glare. Maybe she, difficult. She's trying to block it away right now, so that could actually be a benefit for the Lady Indians. We're scoreless as we're just now starting the second half of play here. Meridian on the attack. Sends it to the middle. Broken up nicely. Cleared out of there, but Meridian coming up to get it. Lady Indians. Going to clear it and reset the defense. Well, they've done a great job defending inside the 18. Any opportunity that Meridian has had, ICC's been able to cut it out and done a great job at being able to stave off potential goal opportunities for the Eagles. This Coke is delicious. It is. I mean, it hit the spot. Kudos to Lee Adams. Newly, Here, my boy, Lee. Newly he's probably named. Not, he's not, probably not listening or watching because he's taking pictures. Yeah, but he's all the way on the other side. Of the, he was uh, listening or watching. Thank you. Yes. I'll be sure and send that message to him. Mm -hmm. Lee, we the, could just yell. Yes. He's over there. Lee, the new assistant SID here at ICC. I also want to give credit where credit's due. Up above us, Raphael Henry, 
our photographer for today's match here on Let's Go ICC.com, Raphael. Raphael's the man. He is, proving that he is not afraid of heights, as he is high it's above. very important in this job. Yes. Since you're, you're a high on a lot of things, including the football field, which is right um, in the background right sometimes. away from us yep. and at the at the beautiful ICC resort here in Fulton, Florida. <laughs> It does. It I, looks like I, a resort. I, it really I never, does. I never have thought about that until I haven't you mentioned either. that. But it just it looks so warm it's, it's and It's a cuddly. relaxing just atmosphere. It does. I need a pina colada. Can we get a pina colada? Fulton is. Where the Lee, I need a pina colada. <laughs> <laughs> so the Lady Indians with it. Meridian now though takes possession. Opportunity. And looks like we're going to have offside, so a Ooh. break there for the Lady Indians. That was the leading score for Meridian. Put that one in the back of the net. Yeah, that was Danielle Shows, and that was a good high line there played by ICC, drawn the offsides. It shows just a little bit ahead of the last defender, and good call from the assistant referee. So a break there for the Lady Indians. We remain scoreless. 40 minutes to play here in the second half. And that may just be the little bit of confidence that Meridian needs just to see the ball go into the net. But ICC, that, or maybe that's maybe they just need to see something going into that. It doesn't matter which team it is. ICC just needs something to go their way. And here's a good opportunity for the Eagles. Moving it ahead and once again offsides. That high line. Coach Sully has this back four playing a high line. They're doing a great job on that offsides trap. So now ICC trying to pick up the pace a little bit. As you heard Coach Carson say, move it up in a hurry. They controlled possession in the first half. Just couldn't come away with anything. They had a couple of great scoring opportunities, yeah, but missed those. Meridian did put one in net, but was offside. So a break there for Lady Indians. So that's kind of just been our only scoring opportunity so far on the day. Good square ball, though. Top build numbers, there you moving go. Moving ahead. Just too far as Meridian thought there for a second was going to try to get it. Tried to let it go out of bounds. Reagan Hearn just couldn't quite get to it in time, so possession back to Meridian. Reagan's been working hard on that left side. Really high work rate. She's working high and farther up the pitch every single time we seem to see her. She's continuing to play tough, and they're continuing to try to reward her. The ICC with possession. They move it ahead. Broken up nicely by the Meridian defense. Now you're starting to see, once again, Meridian trying to sneak someone past the defense. Now scoring opportunity coming up here for the Lady Eagles. Sent it forward if it's saved that time, and let's give credit there. Nice job by Grisham, once again, not allowing her to set up for a good shot. Easy save by mine. Good interchange there, a good one-two between the two strikers of Meridian Shows and Phillips. Again, they've combined for 13 goals this year. They have not scored yet. Back line's been great, and as you've said, once again, Kaylee Grisham's been doing the job of marking shows who's their leading scorer, and she's done a phenomenal job at keeping this nil-nil. Stoppage. I guess they don't stop the clock. They don't, but it's a stoppage in play. You can say that. Now ICC with it, trying to go on the attack. This is Jaggers with it. Try to win it back there. Good hustle. Cleared, and Meridian now with it. ICC get it back, then back to Meridian. Now back to ICC. Anything you can do, I can do better. As they toss it around the yard. Good hustle. That time just couldn't quite catch up with enough time. I knew it looked like the keeper wouldn't have been able to get up to it in time. And this time she steps in, catches it, and will allow to clear it here. Why could you block it if you don't hit with your hands? On that block hit, what? On that, on that clear by the. Uh, no, you got to give the keeper the uh, ample room to, to get that kick away. You that's can't un block that's it. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I know. It, it would definitely make the game much more interesting. And the one thing that uh, a lot of fans, uh, oh, well, I shouldn't say fans, a lot of people that watch soccer aren't a big fan of is the offsides. Kind of takes away the fast break off. Yes, but it it, de it definitely gives the defense more of an opportunity to get stops because if you didn't have offsides, it would pretty much just be like the Wild West where you'd have someone just standing in front of the goalkeeper the entire time. I mean, it's just lob it up and yeah, see what happens. Yeah, just lob it up and just throw it towards the goal. But it you got to have some defense in soccer, and that's the best way to do it. It's it's different than hockey. 
But if people want to compare it to hockey, it's a different game. Larger field. Hockey small rink. As that one cleared, Meridian looks like they're going to be able to chase this one down on the side. We're scoreless in the second half. 36 minutes to play here between ICC and Meridian. I'm Adam Gore, joined by Robbie Donahoe of WCBI Sports on the call today. This one sent towards the goal, but goes wide left. I think you're starting to see a little bit of frustration, if you will, set in for the Lady Indians. They've had some great scoring opportunities, haven't been able to break through, but that time uh, just kind of forced that one when she could have dribbled in a little bit closer. They've had some great chances, and yeah, I'd, we'd, we'd want to see them get a little bit closer towards the 18. At, you know, 25 yards plus, that, that's going to be tough to score on for anyone, so just continue to try to work a little closer to that 18-yard box, even get towards the 6 and see what you can do. Ball put back in play. Loose and ICC comes up with it. Now they move it ahead. Just threw it into double coverage that time. Meridian cleared it nicely, trying to give the defense a chance to reset. So now Meridian takes possession. Once again, trying to lob it, see if one of the players can run past the Chris defense. Chris there again. She has been phenomenal on that back line. Can't say that enough. She's been great. Remind everybody coming up following this match will be the men's matchup between ICC and Meridian. ICC only one loss on the season. That coming to East Central. Last time ICC men's and Meridian men played, it was 4-2, uh, to two, I believe, that final score. Could be in for a doozy of a match. Well, we talked to Coach Sully before this one. He expects kind of the same style of defense out of Meridian in this one, expects them to kind of just, as you said, park the bus. and Park the bus. Get numbers behind the ball, just get stops. That nearly one, that one nearly snuck through. It's Meridian, once again, trying to play that defensive mindset here against the Lady Indians. Try to get some scoring opportunities. Now this is just going to be a foot race down the side. Meridian able to catch up to it. Up the middle, now a little Good give one, and go two. action. One, two, is that how you say it? Good one, two, so it's it, give and go. Give and go. It's a one-two. Yeah, I was soccer. flashing back to the old Utah uh -huh. Jazz. The old Utah Jazz. Man. Yes. Johnny Stockton, Carl Malone. Get some baseball, baseball, basketball. <laughs> Gosh. You can't get softball and soccer straight. I can't keep basketball and baseball straight, apparently. So I, get, I get confused with basketball. You ever basketball, watch that yes. movie? Yeah. Yes. Great movie. Mm -hmm. Fun fun game to play, too. Very fun. Very underrated. Yes. I wish we had that as a, a sport in high school that we could play as a team. We may have to... Um, we start that? We may have to issue a challenge between the ICC Sports Information Department and the WCBI oh, we lose. Sports Department. We are extremely unathletic at WCBI. It, it is well, very disappointing. Have you have you seen the guys in the ICC Sports <laughs> Information Department? It may be I even. Have. It may be even. Yeah, they, they would win in a, in an eating contest, but uh, I don't know. Well, Rafael Henry says he's got some game, so that's all right. I can uh, tell he's got some game. This is good, good movement here from Meridian. And that one wide right that time, so a break there for the Lady Indians. Meridian, though, starting to get a lot more aggressive on the offensive side and got some pretty good looks here in the second half. These are some tough angles right now that both teams are trying to take, trying to score. I mean, you are, you're at an angle where if you don't, you got to go near post, you can't go far bar, and goalkeeper sitting on that the entire time. So that's. It's going to be tough to score with the opportunities these two teams are having. Try to face up, get it somewhere in between the middle third of the field and try to uh, line up a better shot for it. Lexi Black and Reagan Hearn check back into the contest for the Lady Indians. ICC with possession, trying to dribble it through traffic that time. Lost. I was Hannah Anderson trying to dribble through traffic, and that was very nicely done. Here's Reagan Hearn. Here's your 1-2. Nicely done. Earn drawing a lot of attention out of the defense from Meridian. Gets it back, though. Good opportunity here for Hearn. Fires it broken up. Nicely done defensively, but a good, good aggressive attack that time out of Hearn. Yeah, what, just doing it all on her own there, and she did a great job of trying to cross it, and that was definitely the play that she needed to do, was cross it into the box and try to get a teammate on the other end of it. Just unable to get it across the box and find a, a fellow teammate to get the goal, but... Good work there from Reagan Hearn. Continue to fight and scrap at it and have the opportunity. Now they're going to get a, a set piece and a corner out of this. Be a great opportunity right now for Lady Indians to try to get that breakthrough. Mm -hmm. The breakthrough. 30. Still at nil-nil. 32 minutes to play here in the second half. 
Fires it forward. It'll be clear, but an ICC is going to get it right back. There's your refire. Lobs it up. has got a person coming in, and nice job, though, by the keeper to beat the Lady Indians to the ball and keep this match scoreless. A little more power on those crosses are needed because they continue to go to that, uh, that near post. Get a little more power on it. Try to get it away from the keeper. Here's an opportunity, though, for Moretti. Lady Indians want to get back in a hurry here defensively. Nice job that time by ICC. Clear it. Allow the defense to reset. That was Haley Merrill once again, that back line. Doing a great job at sniffing out every opportunity that, that Meridian ha has had in this match. This time the toss in kind of slips away. Get those, get those hands dry. Meridian able to keep possession, though. Send it forward. ICC clears it. Ah, it's handball. Yeah. And she was looking to the ball to carry a little bit more. Just didn't quite get there. Oh, you, by the way, we, we have a Champions League update. Okay, brought to you by Trustmark Bank. Trustmark Bank. Basel has taken a 1-0 lead over Liverpool in the 66th of the Champions League. Liverpool, one of the strongest teams in the world. They play their, their football, if you could say, in England mm -hmm. amongst the Premier League. It's a good opportunity. That one goes into the grateful grasp of the keeper. But Liverpool be a major upset for Basel to win. Basel's located in? I don't know. Ah, Switzerland. Switzerland. No, yes. geography. Here's an opportunity, though, for, for Meridian. Uh, nicely done that time. Well Taking defended. that one away. Keely Mitchell. I, I continue to say it, but this, this defense for ICC is playing a heck of a match. Any opportunity that Danielle Shows has had, it's been... It's been cut out and sniffed out by this tough back four from ICC. Miranda Chapman checks into the match here for the Lady Indians. Robbie, that last goal attempt we saw by ICC, that's what you need because it was high in the air, and a lot of times the keeper can lose that in the sun here in Fulton. That's a, you never know. It may be one of those breaks you never that can know. help the Lady Indians pick up the win today. Yeah, it uh, very well may, may be. I mean, what was it last time out between these two teams? An own goal was the decider? Yep. Something crazy and wild may be the difference in this match. You just never know. <laughs> Two coaches having some fun bickering on the sidelines. From they what are. We can hear. They are. And that's one good thing about this league. You know, they're intense. They want their teams to win, but they also at the same time can have a little fun with each other in a match like that. As one official called the ball to Meridian. The other one called it to ICC. But there was a battle for it. Chapman. Mixed up in that one. Meridian's player still had a little bit of something to say to the uh, referee afterwards. Oh, she's going to get a talking to. So she's getting a firm talking to. Yeah, no more. No more, he said. Give her a yellow. Say so next time she says something, a yellow going to brandish a card. It's coming. By the way, that's uh, Kayla Phillips was the one who got talking to from the official. She has some very bright yellow shoes. And, of course, I'm a fan of the bright colors. They try to send that one forward, broken up nicely by the defense, but Meridian gets it back, puts a foot on it, and ooh, scary. Was punched yeah. over there, punched over by Emily Munn. Probably a good decision there. At, at that point, you don't want the keeper to take any opportunities or any chances on a, a funny bounce or what, but that was a good good move, good play there uh, from Emily Munn, the goalkeeper. So this will result in a corner coming up for Meridian, 27 minutes, I almost said 27 seconds, but 27 minutes. Minutes. To go More here. More seconds. Yes. A lot longer than that. To go here in the second half, we're still scoreless between ICC and Meridian. If you're watching at home. Oh, good nice save. Nice save. As there was a header off the send in. Munn clears that one nicely. Hasn't had much to do today, but that was a, a great, great save. Got two hands on it in front of the ball. Very nicely done there from the goalkeeper, Emily Munn. If you're watching, tweet at us at Let's Go ICC or at Robbie Donahoe. Or at Gore Sports. Or at Gore Sports. We'll give you a shout out on the air. How's that sound? You should. So I'm going to check my Twitters right now. We'll check the Twitters if anyone. Hey, speaking of um, speaking of a uh, Cindy, and how about this? Tommy Lopez. Tommy! Yes, he is running. Oh, man. He is running the update on today's MACJC. Player of the Weeks tonight at boy. 6 and potentially 10. Okay. 
So Robbie, Tommy stepping in there for you and stepping Tommy's up big. A, Tommy's fantastic. Fantastic worker. Great guy. Very happy to have him, as are you. Yes. Uh, to have great, uh, great help. Um, by the way, Adam and I took a selfie that I put on my Instagram, which you can find at Robbie Donahoe. Yes. Um, we gladly we have retweeted a couple that. Great, couple great comments. Ashley Camp says my faves. Yes. Ashley's a great friend of ours. Indeed. Maddie Fancher, who is a friend of mine from back home in Indiana, she says loves love the shirt, Robbie, because I have the USA Soccer crest on mine. Nice. And then T. Braden Bishop says bye. <laughs> Perfect. And now we're ready and on the charge here. Scoring opportunity and no good chance that time went left footed and sent it high. But the reason why that happened was because of the defense getting back and trying to make the play. That was once again Carly Grisham working hard trying to get back and try to get a stop and that sort of fo uh, that force shows to maybe get that shot off a little quicker than she wanted to. So great work from this defense once again. The 50-50 ball is going to be picked up by ICC and that should be, yes, and it is going to be possession. Lady Indians, lucky it was actually off the hand. I called it. Robbie helping the officials there. So anytime Robbie just point that direction. Just point, just point to the right. Although I have to, we are broadcasters. We must be unbiased, as I've learned in my three years at WCBI. If you try to be favored towards anyone, you may be in trouble. Well, how about this? You won't get fuss at anybody by ICC if you favor <laughs> us a little bit. Okay. I can live with that. Grisham with it now. Uh-oh. Went to clear it out, but was hit pretty hard that time. Great hustle, though, trying to get back to help out on defense. And she is going to clear it. Well, I'll tell you what, there was a whole lot of contact that time, and the official doing a good job stepping in. Because as we've seen time and time again, late in a scoreless game like this, it doesn't take anything before uh, a civilized match to break into a uncivilized match. It could happen. Uh, and these two teams starting a little testy now. You, you can see on the field between these two 11s. And it's, uh, we got some physicality now. As you've mentioned, these teams are starting to get a little tired. Still playing a nil-nil draw. Someone's trying to get the breakthrough. Uh, we're waiting on it. And that just that continues to, you know, that anger and frustration continues to bottle up. And that'll sort of blow into maybe some more physical play on the pitch. All right, everybody, coming up next after this one will be the men's action between ICC and Meridian. You want to be sure and stay tuned for that one. As Meridian now with possession, moving it into inside the field. But it looks like an awkward kick that time as Meridian player went down. But she maybe just more so hurt her feelings than anything else. ICC trying to move it up the field. Oh, that, that's Rachel Stukenborg. She's not wearing her brace right now. She took it off. She, had it, she was wearing the first half. Now she's not wearing it. She also, earlier this season, had uh, the uh, face gear to protect for a broken oh, nose. Oh, yes. So she uh, had to wear that playing basketball myself. Uh, yeah, and, I had to do uh, that back in the day. She quickly took that off as well. Yeah, it's, it's, it hinders you on the, on the court, field, whatever. Ahead go the Lady Indians here. Opportunity if they can get it corralled back inside, send it forward. Loose ball, Meridian clears. Uh, someone needs to be in the midfield right in the center there at the top of the 18, ready to pounce on that ball. Didn't happen there. Now an opportunity for Meridian. Meridian with it now. Going to challenge 101 here. Puts it past Munn. And there's the breakthrough, unfortunately, for Meridian as they take the one nothing lead here. 23 minutes of play in this one. Yeah, good through ball play through there to Danielle Shows. And that's your leading goal scorer for Meridian. Just nicely played up ahead. Defenders way too far behind. I will say Emily Munn made a good move. Tried to make Shows show her hand in which way she was trying to go. And nearly came up with the save, but... This little dink over the top of the keeper by Shows, and it's 1-0 Meridian. So now the Lady Indians going to have to try to get this one back, trailing 1-0 as Robbie just alluded to. 1-0. 1-0. So when you see a zero on the scoreboard, that's nil, nil. in soccer terms. Like Neil McCoy? No. Okay. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Yes. <laughs> so now ICC with an advantage as one of the Meridian players is down in the backfield. ICC down by a goal, needed to go into the attack. Meridian clears it. Now we'll have a stoppage in play as Meridian player is down. 22 minutes to go here. I'll tell you what, real quick, let's go through some of the sponsors. 
that help brings ICC athletics your way. Trustmark Bank, Bank of Oklahoma, Coca-Cola, the ICC Dining Services, First American National Bank, Itawamba Loans, Pizons, Tupelo State Farm Agent Rich Potter, Jenkins Exterminating Company. You can call them here in Fulton at 822-0404. You've got Parks and Parts Well Service, McDonald's, Houston Banking Center, Fulton Farm Bureau Agent Joey Cox. That's and, my favorite. Yes, you you have alluded to that numerous times. <laughs> and Joey, Joey likes that. Joey's my man. I haven't met him before, but he's probably my man. I will I will line you up an opportunity to meet Joey. And then Ron Wheeler Dentistry, also a proud sponsor. Love of Houston. Ron. Ron's a great dentist. Houston Monument Company, and those are your sponsors. Also, speaking of a sponsor right now, as you see uh, the player being t uh, looked at on the field, the North Mississippi Medical Service Sports Program do a great job. The official uh, trainers for ICC athletes, of course, yeah. and we do appreciate everything they do here. Uh, for our players, so hopefully this young lady from Meridian is okay. This is always interesting, and Robbie, maybe you can explain this a little bit more. As another player down, stoppage in play, but they don't allow any players to step off the field. But they're allowed to get brought bags of ice, popcorn, drinks, and things like that. Does anybody want a Coke? I have some Coke. It's still half full. It's, it's warm. It should suffice. But yeah, they have to stay on the field. You got to stay on the pitch at all times. If you leave the field to play, I don't know what happens, but something bad. Probably a penalty of some sorts. The young oh. lady from Meridian is being now helped off the field. Hopefully she's okay. It appears to be an ankle injury, Adam, and that ankle injury is presented by North Mississippi Medical Center. Sports Medicine Sports Program. Sports Medicine Program. Apologies, that was. That's a, what's the acronym, no, no, what's you're the right. acronym for that? North NMMCS. MP. Yes. All right. You knocked Seven it out letters. of the park. Okay. Hey, while we have the chance, we should give you a scoreboard update. Brought to you by? I, I can't remember. Trust Mark Bank. Trust Mark Bank. Okay. Um, Real Madrid has gotten a goal. I, I believe it's from, who is it from? Oh, it's from C Cristiano Ronaldo, of course. 2-1 yes. lead for Real Madrid over that team that I can't pronounce. Arsenal's up 4-1. Basel still defeating Liverpool. 1-0 could be a major upset in the Champions League table. And that would have implications of? I, uh, I don't know. Ah. But it's, it would be uh, it would be a bad loss uh, for the Reds. So ICC clears it to the keeper. 50-50 ball up there. Lady Indians battling for it. They trail this one. One nil. Nice. Good work. Thank you. <laughs> Try to make you proud. <laughs> <laughs> you are. You've been doing great today. I'm very impressed with your your stick to of, yes. of 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 soccer. Well, I it's to, tough. I have to give credit where credit's due. Uh, Coach Cody Carson gave me a soccer for dummies book. Did he really? Did you summer. read it? Yes, I did. And I was able to pick up on a few things, and okay. it's, it's helped. It, it's helped in my writing. It's helped in a little bit yeah. of my understanding of the sport. What's the What's the one thing that you still need to grasp the concept of with soccer? The one thing besides offsides. Oh yeah, the offsides. The uh, the terminology, like the outside the 18. Outside the 18-yard box, yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, and then, like then you have the 6-yard box, which yeah, is sort six, of where the keeper 18, patrols. And then you got the little, like, uh, free throw arch <laughs> right there. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. I'm a basketball guy. Uh, sure, yeah. okay. Yeah, so, you know, I still got I still got to get all that lined up. But uh, I do appreciate Coach Sullivan, Coach uh, Carson, mm -hmm. always doing a great job helping me out on that kind of now, stuff. Now, sometimes they will call the in line, uh -huh. you know, all the way, that they call it the byline. The byline. You can call that the byline okay. as well. You'll sound a little smarter when you say that. Okay. Um, I don't think of some other terms. Um, Dish out some terms for so us. So I'm here. trying to think of some other things, yeah. uh, but that they have to come up. You see Reagan Hearn. She is limping off the field after that play there. Yeah, she, uh, she took a, a bit of a knock there. There's another one. A knock. a knock. That's an injury in soccer terms. So now Meridian with it as they move it ahead. They lead this one 1-0. Grisham clears. Possession to ICC. You want another fun term yes. that you probably never heard of? Okay. When a defense, when the defense is sort of in a state of disarray or confusion, you know where they're in trouble, about to give up a goal, or mm -hmm. you know just completely out of whack. Right. They call that at sixes and sevens at over in sixes Britain. Sixes and sevens. Mm -hmm. I I don't get it at all. I was but ask. they say it all the time when I when I watch the Premier League. Okay. So if, yep. if you if you see the defense just all out of whack and giving up crazy plays and passes. 
The defense is at sixes and sevens. You know, that's that's one that they need to, for like non soccer enthusiasts, have the old VH1 pop up videos when they make those. <laughs> just have it pop up to explain what the heck that means. Behind the soccer. Yes, behind the soccer. Behind the soccer videos. Yeah. We, we, may, we may work on something like that. I need to make a book. Just a, a full book of all sorts of soccer idiosyncrasies and sayings and idioms. I will I will look and see if that's in my soccer for dummies book. Okay. At six and was, seven, was, probably not. I don't know if I should be insulted that Coach Carson got me a book that says "Poor Dummies," <laughs> but at the same time, uh, it's true. Meridian yeah. with it now. They're trying to charge inside, cleared by Grisham. Oh, she looked like she handled that. I would say, looked like she kind of caught that one on her hip. That's gonna be Jaggers with it. It's last touch by ICC. Throw in him for Meridian. That one tossed in. Lady Indians trailing this one 1-0. 18 and a half to go here in regulation. Good Shot strike. fired and nicely blocked that time. Got to get on it in a hurry. Good job by Munn that Good time. Good work. Emily Munn doing a great job because that one, that shot from Kayla Phillips, it was dipping a bit. It was tough to corral, and she did a nice job at, at saving it first and then Pouncing on the rebound. Very nicely done there from Emily Munn. Stoppage here. we got a push. Pass interference on the offense. <laughs> That's what the, uh, Spot the, foul. the lead official <laughs> made, made that hand gesture as if it was pass interference. So Letty Indians will maintain possession here. Trying to find the equalizer. Trailing this one 1-0. One ah, good term there. Equalizer. That nice. is one that I did learn. Very, yeah, that, that's, a, that's one you wouldn't normally think of, but... See your own. Oh, and Coach Carson also got me a book uh, by Lou Holtz as well. But uh, you would no one cares about that. that. Knew you would be thrilled. <laughs> Lady Indians, chance. chance here. Dribbles it forward, and just a tough break there for the Lady Indians. Great scoring opportunity, but the defense from Meridian broke that one up nicely. Yeah, just handled it the last moment. Every every single time that ICC's gotten in the final third and tried to put one on target, just hasn't seemed to come through. And it, just a tough break there for ICC. They continue to have opportunities. They just they just need to capitalize on one. They've got to get the breakthrough for their own side and try to equalize it and at least come away with a point. They don't give points away in soccer, yeah. do they? You know how the point system works in soccer? Yes, you get two points per goal, one per six. <laughs> no, <laughs> no that, that's a different point system. I'm talking about like wins and losses. Oh, no, I have not. Okay, so if, if you win a match, you get three points. If you're okay. playing, you know, like league play, right. you get three points for a win, one for a draw. You don't get any points if you lose. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. So if they would draw, they would get a point, but I'm not sure that there's a point system in the MACJ. I believe there is, actually, whenever it comes up to tiebreakers. Okay. So it does go into play. And guess who's at the back breaking up that play? Carly on the defense. Grisham. Carly Grisham. And we have talked so much about her today, and she has played an outstanding game, and as we talked about, I don't know if she's stepped out of the match today at any time. I don't think she has. I think she's been in the whole time. I haven't seen her yet substitute either. A true freshman, just a freshman from uh, from Pontotoc, Mississippi. Again, from what we've been told, but we're not sure. We can't confirm this. It's been, some people call it the land of Bishop, but neither confirmed nor denied. We will not say what Bishop means in French. Nope. Actually, that's not a slight against Pontotoc people. Only one Pontotoc <laughs> person. Now ICC with it, trying to get something going here on the offensive side of the field. It's nice if they, would, if they could have dummy moved that because Abby Westmoreland was sneaking in behind on that far par, far post, I should say. Ooh, nice hit. Some good physicality there. This one's coming to your living room. Nicely caught, called in, fair catch call by Coach Carson. It's Miranda Chapman that's, that's playing physical out there on the pitch. She's working hard. Chapman with it leads ahead. Just a little too far. Meridian trying to clear and finally does so. 15 minutes to go here in the second half. 1-0. Meridian with the lead. ICC, look, ICC looking for that breakthrough. Not getting as many shots on goal. Good ball. Now the Lady Indians a chance here. Sends it forward. 
Got to get a shot here. Oh, just couldn't quite get to it in time. Once again, nice pass ahead. Lady Indians, once again, just can't take advantage of these opportunities. Yeah, two really good balls there. One from Hannah Miller spraying it wide to Rachel Stukenborg, and then Rachel with a great cross into the box. And, yeah, Alyssa Kelly just unable to turn it in. But two really good passes and good build-up play there from the Indians. So it'll be a corner coming up here for the Lady Indians, a chance to get the equalizer. Clock rolling, coming up on 14 minutes to play. And the official is now actually going to send, let them send in the subs. This is going to be Reagan Hearn along with Hannah Anderson checking into the contest for the Lady Indians. Probably we've talked about Buddy Long and company today located in Tupelo but serving the entire area for Coca-Cola. That's Big what time. I'm drinking right yeah. now. I'm drinking, drinking a delicious Coke. Having a tough time keeping the burps in, though. That's, uh, <laughs> that's been... Uh, battle throughout this match. But it has been a saving grace today here. Certainly has. It's a good cross. Well, that was one of the best crosses I've seen all day from Anna Lee Jaggers. A lot good air. Good teasing ball there. That time that was sent back in Keely Mitchell, but no one able to get a foot on it. So once again the breaks beating the girls in this one. One nil Meridian coming up on the thirteen minute mark here in the second half. Ball. Taking a while to get back to the keeper here. But the ball boys. Still, in there. I think they're in lab right now. Probably lab. Uh, yeah. Probably one of the uh, like a chocolate lab. No, I think chemistry. Oh, okay. So they're. Uh, Sorry, I've been out of school for three years, so <laughs> I just when I hear lab, I think, oh, dog. How's the cat, by the way? Uh, she's great. I'm sure she's watching. Probably so. But she doesn't have disposable thumbs, so I'm not sure how she would do that. Meridian moving it ahead. Ball. Got another opportunity here. Challenged by Grisham. Great. Lee Grisham is there again. Boy, she's defending well. A shot on goal from way outside. That wasn't really a shot on goal. Well, not shot was, on goal. But a, a shot fire. towards the goal. Yeah. Somewhere in the vicinity of the, the goal. In the zip code <laughs> of the goal. <laughs> oh. At the awkward angle, actually, I thought it was going to be a little bit closer than it was. I when thought she it was fired too. It. I think we're pretty close to giving our our player of the match award. I unless we get a goal here, I I'm still hopeful we will, but Carly Grisham has played a, a fantastic match. She has been brilliant playing center back for ICC today. So I know I know so we'll we give out we'll give out that award yes. at the end of the at the end of the broadcast, but that is our she's first American great. National Bank star of the Correct. game. Correct. So we will let you officially name that at the end of the contest. That'll be me. I will name it. And then we can also have our Ron Wheeler Dentistry and Fulton play of the game. So be thinking about that as well. By Ron Wheeler Dentistry? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'm hoping that we get a play of the game. I haven't seen one yet. Although uh, Emily Munn's two, like that back-to-back -back saves in that, in that one moment, that was pretty impressive. I'm still feeling good. I'm still feeling a goal. I, I feel like it's coming. Larry Indians with possession now up to Hearn. Sends it across the middle. I switch fields there. There you go. Oh, nice thought. Just couldn't quite thread the needle to Jaggers that time. Yeah, Hannah Miller nearly a great through ball to Jaggers. That just didn't get through. Meridian's defense, give them credit. Meridian's defense has done a top-notch job at keeping ICC out of the scoring column today. Send it ahead. Does Meridian... Smart play on taking that angle to get back defensively by ICC. Pushes it ahead, and it's going to be offsides. Emily Munn was right there to make the save. Nicely right, so done by Munn that time. For those that are watching this match, do explain the offsides rule. Well, the offsides rule is you cannot be behind the last defender on defense, whether that be the goalkeeper or the last defender non-goalkeeper. So let's say... You know, the goalkeeper's out of the box and trying to make a play. Yes. And they, she's actually ahead of that last defender. Then the last defender is technically a part of that final off, offside. So. That. The more you know. The more you know brought to you by Tupelo State Farm Agent Rich Potter. <laughs> so now I see see You make the sponsors very happy, by the, the way. The, hey, you're mentioning we, them constantly. That's what we have to do. Because yeah. without our sponsors, well, guess what? 
we, we don't have jobs. Have this opportunity. No, I completely agree. We're the same way. We have sponsors as well at WCDI, and we make them very happy, especially on the end zone, because we're always mentioning them, giving them plenty of praise, and they make the shows happen. They're a big reason why we have our jobs, and we're very fortunate. Absolutely. As they send this one forward, a little confusion that time, six and sevens. Ha, ha, ha! Sixes and sevens, a boy. There you go. See, I do pay attention. I, yeah, well, sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> Iridium with it. Loses the possession. Yeah, you need possession here. Here, here you go. This is much better now from ICC. Dribbling the way through the middle of the field here. Lady Indians trying to charge forward. Puts a foot into it. But that time, no one there on the backside. Good thought, but just did not have the execution. And that was some Route 1 football. That's what they call it. That's another thing that you can learn over uh -huh. in, in Britain. Route 1 football is just going right down the, the, the middle third of the field trying to score. Especially in a tight ball game like this, you've got to try to stay wide and work, work around that middle third of the field. I think that's where ICC has been able to find the most success in this match. So Meridian with it, but... Grisham steps in front of the loose ball, sends it forward. Viridian comes back and gets it. Cleared that time and a chance to get to it. I don't know if it's going to roll out of bounds. Appears it will. And actually, it will now. I thought there for a second it was going to die as ICC kind of stood around watching. Still 1 0. Eight minutes to go here in the second half. Viridian with the lead. Adam Gore, Robbie Donahoe of WCBI Sports. And Robbie, talk about Twitter. What can they, uh, you know, we've What got about Twitter? We've got Let's Go ICC we on do. Twitter. We do. We Tell have us about uh, WCBI's Twitter. Account. You can find us at WCBI Sports or at WCBI End Zone. Uh, our game of the week load is still going on right now for our Friday night high school football show, and, The End Zone. And where can people vote on that at? Uh, go to our Instagram, which is also at WCBI End Zone. And uh, it's all one word, so no confusion there. But you can also uh, you can find me on the Twitters. It's at Robbie Donahoe. And by the way, it's Rob with a Y, not okay. I-E. Braden, Braden. IEs are silly. Yeah, Braden, Braden just don't understand that. He's confused by the Y I E, the I E Y rules. Yeah, he's confused. Yes. As I put my arms up in here, confused. <laughs> it's Meridian now, starting to look like they're going to work a little bit of the clock here. There you go. Nice job coming and taking that one away. And that one's going to be out of bounds to the Lady Indians, so they have a throw in here on the side. Substitution coming in for ICC. I believe that's going to be Lexi that Black. That is Lexi Black. She's checking in for Miranda Chapman. And Anderson working hard along that right side there, trying to get the ball back and possession back. And uh, that's that's giving ICC a throw in here. But got to got to throw it into your own team. You don't want the other team to get the possession. Now you're starting to see a lot of tired individuals on the field right now. Robbie. I'm getting tired. Yes. I'm I'm getting tired uh, just sitting up here with you. <laughs> well, that's mostly, Kidding. Mostly anybody that's Kidding. around me long enough during the day. <laughs> See, there's an opportunity there, but they needed to have someone at the top of the 18. They didn't have anyone there. Everyone's too spread out wide. Now Meridian has a chance. Puts a foot into this one, but it's too high. I can see why that young lady's a leading scorer for Meridian. They just pretty much put a foot into it, let her run underneath just it, let her go. Can do. Yeah, I, that's pretty much been Meridian's MO this year, is once you get ahead, park the bus, put Danielle Shows up top, and see if she can score. And Well, she's got that one goal for her. That's been the difference thus far. Remind everybody, coming up next will be the men's action between ICC and Meridian. you want to stay tuned for that. We will break away from the broadcast, and then we will fire it back up. I think it's usually about 20 minutes to 30 minutes between matches uh, on those. 1-0 is the lead now for Meridian. Coming up on the five-and-a-half-minute mark here left in the second half of play. Now, I know traditionally soccer keeps a... Opposite, timer, yeah, a timer, timer that's going up, yeah. but yeah, it's, it's it's like a normal sports timer here, but here's an opportunity. This is going to be Jaggers with it. Moves it ahead. Up to the middle to Hearn. Hearn skips it across. Oh, that was a great a opportunity. Missed opportunity, and that's sort of been the tell of the tape today for the Lady Indians. Yeah, that was a great opportunity, and I know Reagan was trying to steer it in and take a shot at goal, but it ended up sort of caroming off her foot and into the path of, of Alex, Alyssa Kelly. And Alyssa, unable to turn it in there, but that was, I think we can all agree that was probably their best opportunity of the match to try and equalize. So ICC trying to reverse field, taken away by Meridian. They clear it. Grisham going to just leave it back for the keeper. 
steps into it. ICC now going to have to get really aggressive here as time starting to become a factor. Got to go ultra attacking as if you're playing FIFA on the Xbox. Turn it up ultra attacking. You got to get an equalizer here. And we have a stoppage. As the possession will stay with the Lady Indians. Sub getting set to check in here for ICC. It's going to be Chapman. Miranda Chapman. We've got a couple of her South Tilo teammates that are on this team with her. Her former South Tilo teammates, yes. I should say. She used to play for South Tilo Hot. They've been a large part of the success that the Indians have had this season. But as we talked about in the Davis Ford pregame show, that it's been a season of unfortunate situations. A lot of situations, injuries. Situations, injuries, yeah. It seems yeah. like every time they've had a little chance to get a little momentum this year, it's just fallen by the wayside. Here's an opportunity, though. We talked about the Lady Indians playing only with one sub for majority of the season this year. And at that one that's point in the season, one sub was actually injured, not 100% when she was playing. Yeah, that's tough, especially playing with 11 players and you don't have a sub and you're playing all 90 minutes all by yourself. That's Especially with this large of a field, that's well, you got to be in prime condition to go through a, a full 90-minute match like that. And that is one of the advantages that we do play with when we play at home. The largest field in the MACJC by leaps and bounds. So talk about <laughs> that, if you will, sort of the advantage-disadvantage to having that type of a field to play Well, with. it could play the advantage right here on an opportunity, but Meridian able to stab it away. It's There's no set size field that you can play on in soccer. Everyone sort of has a larger or a smaller type field. Now, if you have a larger type field, then you can sort of take the advantages of possibly working in the flanks mm -hmm. uh, because, you know, it's so wide, you're able to use that to your advantage, especially here at ICC. You know, you're able to take advantage of the left and right sides and try to cross in and uh, get some deflections and try to turn one in. Uh, but, you know, every you, you play every field deep and differently in soccer. It's, it's Every size is different. Obviously, this is the largest. So if you have a larger field, you want to try to play a lot wider, and maybe ICC can do that towards the the waning 230 of this game where they still have a chance and opportunity to equalize. So now the Lady Indians with the possession. As Robbie said, looking for the equalizer here as they trail 1-0 to Meridian. Hearn with it. Lost it, but gets it back. Good job by Hearn today as well. She battled to keep possession with the Lady Indians. Now Meridian takes it away. Up ahead they go, but stepped in front of that time. Well cut out there by Keely Mitchell. The Lady Indians trying to get more aggressive on the offensive end. Don't know. They might be just a little bit out of gas here in the yeah, closing Yeah, I think they're getting minutes. tired. Yeah, it's, and they, they've played hard. They've played well. You know, they don't have a, a goal uh, to show for how well they've played today, but they have uh, put up a good performance. They just haven't been able to turn one in. Remind everybody that we will break away from this broadcast, and we'll be back with the men's action. That's scheduled to start around 4 o'clock here from ICC. So if you're watching on campus, uh, Come out and support the Indians before heading home today. This is a beautiful day for soccer here in Fulton. The sunny Fulton Vista Resort. <laughs> as in beautiful Fulton, Florida. Yes. Now Meridian going on the attack here. Number seven, first time we've seen her today. You can yeah, tell it. it. She has got tons of energy. And Grisham once again clearing for the defense. Just a minute to play now, though. Time wearing thin on ICC. Again, this is one of those matches where I mentioned a little bit earlier, you know, sometimes the performance isn't going to give you the result that you you desire. I, I, I Watching this, it seems like, and it's it's felt like ICC has had the majority of the possession, and they have played better than Meridian. It's just unfortunate they couldn't get that goal to the good to be able to equalize. They have 30 seconds to go here. we we'll have to get something, a miracle, if you will, for the equalizer. To send everyone up. Got just, just got to bump forward now. Send it ahead. Meridian steps in front of it. Now down to 20 seconds. ICC's got to do something in a hurry here. Now make it 15. Grisham with it. Going to clear it ahead, and that's going to do it here from the first game of the doubleheader today against Meridian. The Lady Indians will fall in this one, one to nothing, as we move now to the National Guard postgame report. Robbie, your game summary, you kind of just talked about it there for a minute. This game summary brought to you by the Houston Monument Company. Good possession, had some good opportunities. Maybe, you know, we're a little wasteful in the first half in taking some of those opportunities, which was somewhat unfortunate. But 
this was a, it was a strong performance by ICC. It's a tough break to not see them get any uh, put anyone in uh, to try to equalize. But overall, I think they can be happy with the performance. Uh, really looked strong towards the end of the match, trying to come from behind the tie. Just unfortunate, just uh, wasn't able to come through with the equalizer. That game summary brought to you by the Houston Monument Company, our first American National Bank star of the game. You've kind of talked about who you would vote for. Got to be Carly the Grisham. Got to be Carly Grisham. She was fantastic on that back line. She played a fantastic match. Uh, honestly, if it wasn't for her, it probably would be 2 or 3 nil, uh against ICC. So she was able to keep them in it at multiple points in this match. Just uh, unfortunate that she wasn't able to be a part of a, a draw or a victory because they played well enough where they could have earned it. Absolutely, and we unfortunately don't have a goal or goals to talk about for our Ron Wheeler Dentistry and Fulton play of the game, but your thoughts on some uh, nom uh, some considerations for that? Emily Munn had, a, had that double save there where, where she got the initial shot, and then the shot sort of bounced off of her, and a good rebound opportunity was there for Meridian, and she was able to pounce on it for another save. A, a couple opportunities where you know Meridian appeared to look like you know they were going to score easily, and and Grisham hustled back and forced a you know a wayward shot or something like that. So there are a lot of moments where I think you could call that you know, the defense was a big part of the reason why that ICC still had a chance to win this match. And that's going to wrap up our National Guard post game report. One nil, Meridian wins game one against the Lady Indians. When we come back, we'll have the men's action coming your way here. And a Champions League update. Yes, you want to go ahead and give me one. No, we'll, we'll do that when we come okay, back. Okay, we'll have you a full list of a Champions League update brought to you by <laughs> Trustmark Bank. Before we do. We're going to step away and be back in about 20 minutes, uh, make it 15 minutes, uh, here from Fulton right after this.